This presentation is multiplication and ratios. We're going to work with some other examples for this presentation. The first one that I'm going to show the students, we're going to lay out two red pegs to three green pegs. And I can have the students write the ratio. We have two to three. Now we're going to do something new. We're going to add a row using the same ratio. So we have two more red pegs and three more green pegs. And I would have the students write the new ratio. So now we have four to six. Now we're going to add another row. So we have two more red pegs and three more green pegs. And I'll have the students write this new ratio. We have six red pegs to nine green pegs. At this time, one of the students might recognize that there's a relationship between the ratios that we've written. And we can look at the ratios and they might share with the group or share with me that these are multiples of the same ratio. So in each one, for this ratio, we've increased by two times. So from this, the students can state that if we multiply or divide both of the terms by the same quantity, the ratio remains the same. In this one, I'm going to use the example two red pegs to four green pegs. And I'm going to tell the student that this time we're going to find out if the smaller term is eight, how we can find out what the other term would be. The eight is going to belong to the smaller of the terms or the antecedent. So we're going to count out eight red pegs. And I know that if I do a row of red pegs to keep my ratio the same, I need to do a row of green pegs. So I can write down with the students that our original ratio was two red pegs to four green pegs. And we were trying to find the antecedent. And if we were trying to find the consequence or the higher term when we knew the antecedent, now we can count our green pegs to find out what our consequence was or our second term. And that's 16. Children can continue to do this, trying to find the missing term, either the antecedent or the consequence, using the pegboard.